I'm going to make one final offer. Governor Christie issued this challenge to legislative leaders on school funding during his budget message 101 days ago. I'm willing to work with you to solve this problem without any preconditions on the ideas that are brought to the table. However, here is my one requirement to offering this compromise. 100 days. That prompted a flurry of public hearings, news conferences, and proposals. But the rush to fix this divisive, decades-old problem fairly keeps hitting roadblocks, among them competing plans from legislative leaders who've staked out and locked down their positions. Assembly Speaker Vincent Prieto reports radio silence recently. The governor, the Senate president, and myself, you know, talked about some broad strokes of what was acceptable. Uh, then our staffs met after that. Um, then I have not heard anything back, any thoughts, any ideas, any concerns, or anything. For starters, Prieto's offering a one-year plan that would add $125 million for the state's most financially strapped school districts and those with at least a 10% enrollment spike over the past five years. Critics claim his proposal's too short-term, but Prieto says districts have already set this year's budget. People have been hired, so obviously there's no way you can take money in this uh, a year, fis uh, you know, fiscal year 18. Senate President Steve Sweeney, meanwhile, has held public hearings across New Jersey. His proposal would boost spending by 500 million over the next five years, especially for districts with rising enrollment. Underfunded districts applaud. It's not that there isn't enough school aid to go around. It is simply not being distributed in a fair manner. To that end, Sweeney would phase out adjustment aid for about 200 districts over five years, but that drew fire from New Jersey's Education Law Center, which calculated it had slash $733 million and triggered deep and recurring cuts in teachers, support staff, and programs essential to provide students with a thorough and efficient or T&E education, noting it's simply wrong to rely on adjustment aid to get New Jersey out of the school funding hole dug by Governor Christie. Prieto agrees. You can't can't do that in, you know, in one year, number one. So we have to figure out how do we do this, make sure that you take money away, you don't put school districts below adequacy. Sweeney had no comment, but in April he vowed to hold the state budget hostage unless the school funding crisis gets resolved. There's a fight brewing. There's absolutely a fight brewing. It might become an ugly budget but we're going we're gonna to fight on this one. Sweeney's apparently been meeting with Governor Christie, who gave this update yesterday. He's had a lengthy meeting yesterday with the Senate president. Um, I've had conversations with uh, the Republican leaders as well. Uh, and so I may have some more to say tomorrow. But the governor promised to impose his own fix if lawmakers can't reach an agreement. Prieto calls Christie's 100-day deadline arbitrary, but the June 30th state budget deadline is constitutionally set. The question, will any school funding changes happen before then? In the newsroom, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.